Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The Wild Hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea! Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Go! Slow now.
do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. me to take a closer look. the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, 
and we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside burned like a cattle brand Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over they's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire thanks for your help the lady she'll be all right in the end won't she i'll do what i can to see that she is So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.
Not so fast, Relish. Hey, yeah. Move it. Come on now. Whoa there, Roach. Let's go. Just destroy it. Come on. Standing Jew, I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> to honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. For I have 99 left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well... Why... Um... Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah, I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. You know, I yield. Had enough? 
Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Good. Move it. Got their asses whipped on the Melvi Rad Hall. You surprised? Let's try to get down. One fucked up face. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. I wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Our boy. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. 
I've done my part. You've got dozens of men. There's gotta be someone you can send. You refuse to go? Mm-hmm. Fuck you! Yet, if you're ever in the area, by chance even, take this and just make sure she's all right. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. But not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. Want that horse, don't you? Had one just like it. Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. 
She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. So long. Wanna up over the village? Remind the pumpkin to do plow. Went to the village for the levy, and that one hard banged the last. So the bloody baron ripped him a new one. Horse feathers. Lads, fancy an to find that Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Show me what you got.
sehr. Ever heard of preventive Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. Slower. That's it, Roach. Got that arse's whip like you know who ran whore. They tried to dance with a witcher. Where'd he come from? Just destroy it. Hey there. Come on. Come on. Lower. Miss, the cows are wheezing. One rise from the barn floor. Puss streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, Miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. As good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best. Anyone home? Candle. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special.
Now, where's she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. Greetings, Witcher. Missed a spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to Gore. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? Mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. I'm looking for a certain young woman. 
Oh, really? Who? Apparently, she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoyatel slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. Before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Come on! Vela Glan. The Wild Hunt. What? Phantom Riders? 
That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. A uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. I'm not sure I like any of this. Come on. Do you know the diseases they spread? 
Do you know the disease is there for us? What happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. I gotta know what the Wild Hunt's doing here. But we came to find the Elven Mage, not fight the Hunt. If they reach him first, we won't get a chance to talk to him. Besides... Go on. Finish. Wait. You've got some special interest in the Hunt. Is this about Ciri? There's something you've not told me, isn't there? Come with me and maybe I will. Are you always like this? I'm beginning to feel sorry for Triss and Yen. Oh, very well. Let's go. Gavella Glan. Larena Luna. Save oh. a Larena Luna. What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. A what projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary letter, which anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. Message was definitely for Ciri. Daughter of the Gull, Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tzideo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. An old elven horde. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful. That oily yellow vapor, it's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Vesemir told me that soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms.
thought you were in a hurry. We're headed the right way. I dislike this place vehemently. similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirel, ni for the sol eser in. Sirel, ni for the sol eser in. No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, should we look for it? Gavella Glan. Sirel, ni for the sol eser. A sea monster. Looks a bit like a Karen. Geralt, what the hell is that? Another security measure, damn it all. Well, almost. A while back, a certain Doppler took a shot at impersonating me. Yes? And? He hated being me. Felt uncomfortable. Dopplers are kind-hearted by nature. Hunting dog. Can't see any connection to Kelpie. Look, it's rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirel, 
i forda sol eser in sirel i forda sol eser in hensilak kelp does he mean that sea monster no that's what siri named her mare horse could apparently gallop like a demon hmm <laughs> good name for a horse so should we look for it Gavella Glam. I wonder what all this means. Hunting dog. Can't see any connection to Kelpie. Must you touch everything? Geralt, Geralt, are you all right? You might say so. It's rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. Before the sol eser. Sirel. Before the sol eser. Hey, Silak. Kelp. Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, shall we look for it? Gavella Glan. Sirel, ni for the sol eser in. Hey, Silak. Looks a bit like a Karen. Geralt, what the hell is that? Another security measure. Damn it all. Do you think it's a mind game of some sort? Can you defeat yourself? Are you willing to? Perhaps they are real. Just don't share your doubts. I know exactly which one of you is real. Just focus on the uh, Anything like that never happened to you before? Well, almost. A while back, a certain Doppler took a shot at impersonating me. Yes? And? He hated being me. Felt uncomfortable. Dopplers are kind-hearted by nature. Say so. Well, drawing of a horse. 
yours. Clue for Siri must be. Exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Garrett, I don't know what you did, but it works. Come back here. Look, they're opening. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. And I know why I landed in that drowner nest. You should be pleased to emerge from the portal in one piece. And everyone still wonders why I hate to be teleported. We must try to activate it. The sooner we can leave, the better. I think that's a... swallow. What? Come! Sure it's safe. Of course! Yeah. Gavella Glad. It's grown awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm.
that would be that. I knew we'd manage. If that's so, make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. <laughs> I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several ways. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? Depends what she wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times, I forget. We hardly know each other. Certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. Teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. Blue swallow. Look, it worked! Come on! Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glan. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the mage's sentries. Did you come here for a friendly chat with the elf? Meaning you ever thought they might have? Froze them before they could attack. Shut up! Beat 
Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. <laughs> we'll have to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. Thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah, never. Well, he awaits us. Ah! Stubborn one. Geralt, I, I shall help you. Step back. Stop telling me what to do. What now? How long, how long you love? Stay calm. Focus. This looks like the elves' laboratory. Look, the elves have another message to see. All right, let's watch this message. Cyril, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. 
And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Ciri would be safer if they did. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant then. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine where that comes from. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. Mysterious mage herbalist. an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. 
Thanks. leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. I'm certain to find something here. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me! Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. Let's try it. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. Again. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. 
And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful... Wait, something just happened. Behind that wall, a movement. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in the line. First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What? <gasps> Looks like some elven sanctuary. This way, is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kraken and Lord. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Let's leave this place, shall we? going. <laughs> There's something here. Need to use the eye. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? 
You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.
Ejed Medeta. Ezt tudod, ezt nem mondjuk rá. Greetings. Salutations! Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As have I, as do I. Take a peek if you don't mind.
Not the best place for a traveling peddler. Profits lie amidst risk. True, the wars brought strife and hardship, but folk live on, and where there is life, there is trade. Prepared to risk your life for a bit of coin? Coin, my friend, is of little import. Hard as I try, I simply cannot remain still, so I wander and wander the world. I see new places, speak with folk I've never known. It's what I like, and that's worth the risk. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Yeah? Got this diagram. Think you can forge the weapon? So long. Yeah? Got this diagram. Think you can forge the weapon?
I'll take a look. Maybe pick something. So long. Let's go! Not so fast, Roach. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Run, Roach. Watch 
is death. Your kind spreads disease. Defeat isn't a desertion. Slower. Hey there. He's big, five foot long, thick as me arms, and oh, shit. Everyone to me! To me! The sooner our lads beat the black ones, the sooner they can come on. Best where's this side of the ponta? Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Falling to a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye, what else would it be? You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Twice, just by. Best where's this side of the pond? Oh, 
apologies. Go on, don't think twice, just buy. Good thing you didn't catch. 